Okay, this is uh, day 147, constructing geometric sequences. Your goal for today is you'll be able to determine the explicit rule and recursive process for a geometric sequence. So, remember uh, from yesterday, I'm going to go back to yesterday's lesson, your notes from yesterday. Oh, these aren't them, these are the other class, sorry about that. Let me go to yesterday's lesson, right here. Remember how I said... You know, geometric sequences are exponential. Remember that whole idea? Exponential. Okay, so like this first example, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, this is not geometric. It's being added by 5 every time. You all see that? Add 5, add 5. This one is. What am I doing from here? I'm multiplying it by 2. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. You all see that? Does that make sense? So that's what we're looking at. And then yesterday we also looked at... Um, this information here, we made lists out of the original numbers, and we said, hey, the first number is 5 all the way down to the seventh number, and we used our calculator to build this out. Remember this whole thing? Okay, so today we're going to build the mathematical rule for this. It's called an explicit rule, um, and so that's the goal for today. I'm going to go back here um, to our lesson, okay? So that's the lesson uh, title. If you... Please pause the video to write the title and the objective down. Okay. So now we're going to go, I'm going to show you how to do numbers 1 and 2. So notice these lists. What's different from these lists from yesterday? What's different today than yesterday? Do you notice my lists are different? Look at my tables. What's different about my tables? Yesterday was vertical and today's horizontal. Does that change anything? No. No. Can you handle it? Yes. Okay, cool. So, just like yesterday, we have the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth number, and today we have the first number saying, hey, first number is 2, second one's 4, third number is 8, fourth number is 16, and the fifth number is 32. Okay, so what's the common ratio that I notice here for these numbers? The common ratio here is 2, right? Don't I multiply each number with 2 to get to the next number? Okay, and what's the first number in my list? Well, it's 2, right? So my a sub 1 is 2, okay? So we're going to make the rule now, okay? The rule, if you notice, right here, the goal is our explicit formula rule, which is right here on the left. I'm using y because that will help us to think about exponential equations in a few days here. Okay, so we're going to start with this, and we're going to write down y is equal to a sub 1 times b to the n minus 1, okay? Our a sub 1 is, we said is 2, so we're going to replace these values in, 2 times our b, which is going to be our ratio. You see step 3, identify the common ratio as b, is 2, and then to the n minus 1, <clears throat> and there's your explicit formula. And then I would ch check it just to make sure it's correct. So we can figure out any number in the sequence by using this rule, okay? So for example, the first number. What's our first number here? Uh, two, right? Okay. How do we know it's two? Let's put this in here. Let's put this in for one. What's one minus one? Zero. What's two to the zero? One. Two to the, anything to the zero power is? One, okay? So what's one times two? Two, good. What if I were to put two in? What's 2 minus 1? 1. What's 2 times 1? 2. 2 times 2 is? 4. Isn't that right here? You all see that? What about 5? Okay, ready? What's 5 minus 1? 4. 2 to the 4th is? Which is like saying 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 to the 4th is? 16. Good. What's 16 times 2? 32. Isn't that what we have here? Now watch this. We can use it to predict, okay? What about the 6 number? Let's put 6 in here. What's 6 minus 1? <coughs> and our exponent 5. So what's 2 to the 5th? 32 times 2 again? Six. Is not the next number that should go in my sequence? You all see that? Okay, so this explicit rule helps us define it, okay? So now we're going to do explicit rule for number 2. So we got uh, numbers 1 through 5. We have the first five numbers here, and we have, they go 5, 15, 45, 135, 405, okay? So, starting again, I want to start with my, figure out my ratio. My ratio is 3. I notice that uh, 5 times 3 is 15, 15 times 3 is 45, 
45 times 3 is 135, and 135 times 3 is 405. Y'all see that? And then I notice my first uh, term, a sub 1, is 5. That's my first one. <clears throat> okay? So now we're going to start with writing the explicit formula, the, the basic um, frame or the equation for the explicit formula. And we're going to replace the values a sub 1 with 5, our base with our ratio of 3 times n minus 1, and that's it. So our answer here is y is equal to 5 times 3 to the n minus 1. And we could now check it. Okay, let's, let's do an easy one here. Let's try 2. What's, let's put 2 in for n. What's 2 minus 1? Good. What's 3 to the first power then? 3 times 5? Isn't that what we have here for the second one? Does that make sense, everyone? Okay, cool. So that's what we're doing today. So see, it's Tuesday today. Let's have the twos talk to the rest of their group. So 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Yeah, all of my twos are in here. So twos are talking to the rest of the group. How do I make the explicit formula and how do we use it? Okay? Ready, set, and go. Okay, so number three, we're going to do number three kind of together and you're going to finish it, okay? So looking at number three, you don't have to write down the problem. You just, I want you to talk to your neighbors, tell them what's the common ratio, and then what is the first term in the sequence, okay? Two things. Okay, what's the common ratio, everyone? Good. What's the first term? Good, so let's write that down on our papers. Okay, and then we're going to start off by writing down the explicit formula. Um, just the basic one. So if y is equal to a sub 1 times b to the n minus 1. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now with your group is figure out what's the explicit formula for number 3, okay? I'll give you about 30 seconds. Go. y equals 2, uh-huh, times 3 to the... Good, okay. Excellent. Does that make sense, everyone? Okay, do number four for me then, please. Everyone's working on number four. Number four, you can work with your groups too. Okay, y equals seven times two. Is that correct, everyone? No. No, what's, what's still missing? Good. Don't forget the little exponent n mi to the n minus one. Okay? Good. This is pretty easy, right? Do you think you can handle it? Okay, good. Okay, so that concludes the lesson.